Good afternoon. I will be reporting Chapter 5, Project Scope Management. What is a uh, project integration management processes? There are five process groups. One is initiating and under initiating, there's an integration management process, which is developing the project charter. The major output will be project charter. And the second one is planning. The integration management process is developing the project management plan. And the major output is project management plan. The third one is exec executing. Under that is directing and managing project work. And the output will be deliverables, work performance info, and change requests. The fourth one is monitoring and controlling. Integration management process will be to monitor, to control project work, perform integrated change control. And the output will be change requests, status updates. And the last one is closing. It will be it will close the project or the phase and the output is product transition what is project scope management scope refers to all the work involved in creating the products of the project and the processes used to create them so we have here the block diagram first the first, the first block will be to enter phase or the start project. And the second one will be initiating processes. And there's a loop or spiral uh, process, which is the planning processes and the executing processes. And then after completion of that will be the closing processes and will be the exit phase or the end project. In the planning, there will be phase one, two, three, and four. One will be the plan scope management and the output of that will be scope management plan, requirement management plan. And in the phase two of the planning will be collect requirements collecting of requirements the output will be required documentation acquiring documentation and the traceability matrix the third phase in the planning will be define scope the output of that is project scope uh, statement and project documents update the fourth phase will be to create wbs so what will be the output of that is scope baseline and project docs document update. And under monitoring and controlling, we have the MC1, phase one of the monitoring and controlling, validate scope. The output of that is accept deliverables, change requests, work performance info. And the phase two, Control scope. The output of that is change requests, project management plan updates, and organization process asset updates. Now, in the project scope management processes, the planning scope, collecting requirements, defining scope, creating the VBS, validating scope, controlling scope, we have here the uh, in the planning and in the controlling so first in the process will be the plan scope management output just so what i have said before now in the planning scope management the project team uses expert judgment and meetings to develop two important outputs the scope management plan is a sub 
subsidiary part of the project management plan. How to prepare a detailed project scope statement, how to create a VBS, how to maintain and approve the VBS, WBS, how to obtain formal acceptance of the completed project deliverables, how to control requests for changes to the project scope. What are the requirements management plan? Conditions or capabilities that must be met by the project or present in the product or present in the product, service or result to satisfy an agreement or other formally, formally imposed specification. In the phase two, which is the collecting requirements, for some IT projects, it is helpful to divide requirements development into categories called elicitation, analysis, specification, and validation. Now, this is the uh, development phase. Okay, we have the requirement, design, code, test, and operation. This is the relative cost to correct a software requirement defect. In the phase two, methods for collecting requ requirements, we have one is interviewing, prototyping, and benchmarking. The inputs, one is the project charter and the stakeholder register. The tools and the techniques will be interviews, focus groups, facilitated workshops, group creativity techniques, group decision-making techniques, questionnaires and surveys, observations, and prototypes. The outputs will be requirements document, requirements management plan, requirements traceability matrix. Now, the statistics on requirements for software projects, 88% of the software projects involve enhancing existing products instead of creating new ones. 86% said that the customer satisfaction was the most important metric for measuring the success of development projects. And 83% of software development teams still use MS Office applications like Word, Microsoft Word, and Excel as their main tools to communicate requirements. PM Network, the blame game. Surrender the pipe dream. Always assume initial requirements are wrong. Accept that all requirements change. Simplify your change management approach. The phase two, requirements traceability matrix. A requirements traceability matrix, RTM, is a, tra is a table that lists requirements various attributes of each requirement, and the status of the requirements to ensure that all requirements are addressed. So for example, here in this table, requirement number R32, the name is laptop memory, category hardware, source, project charter, and corporate laptop specifications, status, complete. Laptops ordered met meet requirement by having four gigabyte of memory. Let's uh, open another example. So for example, this is the uh, another uh, traceability matrix. So project requirements, we have requirement number one, check-in functionality. ID IDA must provide role-based user, users with quick check-in functionality. Closing an order and provisioning overflow calls and so on.
Next is defining scope. Project scope statements should include at least a product scope description, product user acceptance criteria, detailed information on all project deliverables. So the inputs will be what are are project charter, requirements, documentation, organizational process assets, tools and techniques, expert judgment, product analysis, alternatives doc identification, facilitated workshops. And the outputs are project scope statement, project document updates. Now, what is the sample project charter? So here we have a project charter. Okay, we have project title, information technology, upgrade project. And the project date, start date, and end date or finish date. The key schedule milestone, for example, our inventory update completed when hardware and software, installation completed, testing completed, like a timeline. Okay. Budget information, how much will be the cost of that project, hardware and software, and plus the labor cost. The project manager, the name of the, the person, the project manager, and contact and uh, contact number or the email. Project objectives, upgrade hardware and software for all employees within nine months based on new corporate standards. The main project success criteria, the hardware, software, and network upgrades must meet all written specification, be thoroughly tested and be completed in nine months. Employee work dis disruptions will be minimal. And the approach will be update the IT inventory database to determine upgrade needs. Develop detailed cost estimate for project and report. Issue a request for code to obtain hardware and software. And use internal staff as much as possible for planning, analysis, and installation. Refining project scope, the project charter upgrades may affect servers. Project scope statement, servers, if additional servers are required to support this project, they must be compatible with existing servers. If it is more economical to enhance existing servers, a detailed description of enhancements must be submitted to the CIO for approval. Now, another is the version, of version 2, servers. This project will require purchasing 10 new servers to support web, network, database, application, and printing functions. Virtualization will be used to maximize efficiency. Let's uh, look at the other example of scope statements. So for example, this one. We have a project overview. This project is being undertaken to establish a new residence for Mr. and Mrs. John Smith. Okay, the overview of the whole project. Then we have the project purpose. And then we have the project scope, including the price, the pricing, the activities like the uh, landscaping, foundation, driveway, all the construction, or what will you do for the whole project. Project milestone, okay, you know, other details of the project. Project approach, how will you uh, do the project? Issue management, what are the uh, issue encountered along the process, along the project. 
change management, communication management, procurement management, resource management, outstanding issues, approvals, references, deliverables, quality control, project schedule. Okay. Another one, another example will be in this uh, format on, uh, in a ta written in a table. Then another one is uh, this kind of project scope statement. Okay. Now, project scope statement exercise. The POQ organization online shoe store reviewed the exercise and answered the questions at the bottom of the sheet. Ah, this will be the exercise. Okay, so that's the full report for this uh, Project scope management.